Hello, we are Team Mountaineers from West Virginia University, and we are proud to present our rover design and demonstrate our readiness for the 2023 University Rover Challenge. Meet our team's newest rover, Wanderer, and our autonomous drone, Cosmos. The rover's sheet metal chassis is supported by a differential double bogey system to maintain four points of contact on uneven terrain. Carbon fiber and Kevlar composite wheels are attached to in-hub brushless motors. The composite construction allows an aggressive tread design which enables the rover to traverse a variety of terrains similar to those at the Mars Desert Research Station. The rover is equipped with adequate payload and interfacing space to allow for easy integration. All electronics, such as the custom power distribution, payload control, and battery monitoring boards are centralized in the chassis. To improve communication range under the size constraints, a telescoping antenna mount is installed. This year, we will be using one 4 degree of freedom hybrid palletizer style manipulator for both the equipment servicing and extreme retrieval and delivery missions. The arm consists of machined aluminum components with composite linkages arranged in a parallel configuration actuated by two CAN-controlled brushless motors at the base. Each payload contains the specifics for each task, such as the arm and electronics. Pipecos are used on the custom payload PCBs with the main chassis able to distinguish between payloads. By placing the motors at the base, the masses of the manipulator's links are reduced, decreasing the torque required to manipulate objects. In this configuration, the arm and motor combination is able to lift up to 8 kilograms at full extension. An additional degree of freedom is provided by a lead screw driven horizontal rail. The rail allows the arm over 500 millimeters of travel. The arm also features a 2 degree of freedom differential, giving the operators control over pitch and roll. Attached to the differential is a linear clamping end effector. The clamping end effector provides the strength to tightly grasp large objects while being dexterous enough to manipulate features on the lander. For the equipment servicing mission, a screwdriver is attached to the end effector, allowing the drivers to easily screw and unscrew a bolt, as well as precisely type on a keyboard. The rover communicates with the base station using a 900 MHz radio connected to two web antennas on the rover. At the base station, a 120-degree sector antenna provides a wide region where communication is possible. This communication system has been tested up to 850 meters and is able to maintain control and video link at that distance. This year, for the autonomous navigation mission, our team has been developing both autonomous drone and rover systems with the intention to complete the mission with the drone, depending on environmental conditions. Both systems use a finite state machine to switch between navigation, search, approach, and arrival states. A PixHawk 6C provides our localization solution with accuracy of up to 1.5 meters, which is sufficient to arrive at the GNSS only coordinates. For the mission coordinates, including fiducial markers, Ross Aruco Detect is used on board both vehicles to provide the marker positions relative to the vehicle. Additionally, a YOLO vision model has been trained to detect Aruco markers from a greater distance. In cases where the rover isn't able to see the marker once arriving at a waypoint, a search pattern is planned and executed. The science payload examines soil samples using a visible light spectrometer. Soil samples are collected and stored on the robot through the use of rotating drums. These drums are lowered to ground level and rotate to collect soil using integrated scoops. Ethanol is then pumped into the drums to create a solution. Rotating the drums mixes the ethanol and soil. This solution is delivered to the onboard science laboratory by the same pump, using a series of check valves. The laboratory contains a centrifuge with 14 cuvettes. For each sample site, the centrifuge contains two cuvettes, one empty cuvette for detecting biological chromophores, and one containing a chlorometric substrate to detect peroxidase activity. Sample solutions from each site are examined for organic compounds by the spectrometer and spectroscopy. Data is sent back to the base station and displayed on the GUI. After determining the samples of scientific value, the scoop drums can be easily removed from the collector mechanism for further testing. Our team has organized several events in which freshman engineering and high school students build their own obstacle-avoiding robots. Team Mountaineers is excited and ready to compete in the 2023 University Rover Challenge.